What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the West German BMW channel. This is Troy, one of the BMW geniuses, and today I'm going to be giving you an in-depth overview on how to connect Apple CarPlay. The first thing we need to make sure is that you're using iDrive 7. That's what I'm going to be showing today. If you're using iDrive 6, you're going to want to refer to another one of the videos on the West German BMW channel to show you how to connect Apple CarPlay. So to start, we're going to have our Apple device right here and be on iDrive 7 home screen. We're going to start by going into communications on the left side. I'm going to be using touchscreen. So the second tab, communications. Then we're gonna go to the third one, which is mobile devices. Now before we actually push new device and connect it, we're gonna make sure everything is active. So we're gonna go to the little gear settings on the right side, select that. And now we want Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and Apple CarPlay to be checked off so that Apple CarPlay can function correctly. Then we're gonna go back to the previous screen. We're gonna push new device on the top right and then on the top, we're going to select phone calls and audio, audio via Bluetooth or Apple CarPlay. Once we've selected that, it's going to read vehicles visible to Bluetooth device as BMW 82469. Now, in the older models of BMW, that code actually mattered. Now, it's just how it recognizes as on the device. So, now that we're at this screen, we're going to go over to our Apple device right here. We're going to go into our settings gear right there. And normally, instead of clicking Bluetooth at the top, we're gonna to go down to General, which is on the bottom here. Now you can connect CarPlay through Bluetooth on that spot. It will just prompt you after you've completed the Bluetooth setup, but we've run into connection issues if you don't do it through General. So now that we're in General, we're gonna to go to the fifth button down. It's gonna say CarPlay. Now that I've done that, you're gonna see instantly devices nearby, it popped up. I'm gonna select that. And then on the phone, it's gonna prompt me with Bluetooth pairing requests, push pair, allow contacts to sync, allow. And then on the car, it's gonna say, use BMW iDrive for phone calls, Bluetooth audio, or confirm note and connect Apple CarPlay. You're gonna select CarPlay. Now it's gonna prompt you on your iPhone with use CarPlay. Make sure you're a little quick, just so you can prompt everything at the right time. And now, you know, we have CarPlay connected. Okay guys. Now that we're on the Apple CarPlay screen, I'm gonna show you how to disconnect CarPlay and then reset it. So a lot of customers come in and their Apple CarPlay might have got disconnected through the Wi-Fi. And that is just due to sometimes when you turn your Wi-Fi on and off, it won't always read it when you get back in the vehicle. So it is rare, but when you need to do it, I'm gonna show you how to delete it and reconnect it. So we're gonna push the home button to go back to the BMW screen. As you can see on the top left, CarPlay is connected. We're going to go to communications, we're going to go to mobile devices, we're going to select the device, and then on the second one you're going to see delete device, okay? You're going to delete the device there, and then follow the steps that I showed you in the beginning of the video, and then also you're going to delete it on the phone. So on the phone, you're going to want to go to your settings, right where we were before, on this CarPlay screen. Again, if you need help finding it, it's in settings, general. CarPlay, and then BMW 82469, that number that I showed you before. Click that, and on the bottom it's gonna say forget this car, all right? I'm not gonna do it now, but that is how you would forget it on both devices to restart the connection process, okay? So now that CarPlay is standard, you're actually gonna have these features on any brand new BMW from X1 to X7, from two series to eight series, okay? So this is the home screen, which has been updated recently, um, within the last three months. You'll see your home on the left side, maybe your preference in music. Just like the BMW screen, you're able to go to the page over and go to the next page if you have more apps. So this phone only has a few apps that are compatible. I know there's a lot more. You can use podcasts, Zoom, um, you know, certain sports apps like ESPN, a lot of different things that you can actually access on here. and. Um, Another thing that's really big for people is being able to use Siri. So on the steering wheel here, you're gonna see on the left side, right here, you can hold that button down to bring up Siri. And if you push it once, it will be used for BMW. So if I hold my button down and I say, set me an alarm for five o'clock. Okay, I set an alarm for 5 a.m. There you go. So all the functions that you would normally have 
through Siri when you're at home, you now have in your BMW. It just makes everything a lot easier when driving, makes it so you don't have to take your eyes off the road, look at your phone, and put yourself in harm's way. So obviously these days we wanna be safe when it comes to you know a pandemic or when it comes to driving, all right? Safety is important. So if you guys have any questions for me, Matt or Orlando, the other BMW geniuses at the dealership, you can contact us at 215-643-3322. We are located at 500 West Pennsylvania Avenue, Fort Washington, PA, and we will see you in the next video. Stay safe, guys.